Hello and welcome to Firefox OS for Developers, the platform HTML5 deserves. I'm here with Dan Applequist from Telefonica. Tell us a bit about yourself. I'm doing uh, developer outreach, developer advocacy for Firefox OS, and I'm also active in W3C. I'm working on the underlying standards that push this forward for uh, HTML5 for, for mobile and for, and for the web. And my job in Mozilla is to be the open web and HTML5 guy. So we have a match made in heaven here, actually bringing out a device that runs completely on web technology into markets that don't have anything else right now. Mm -hmm. So whenever I talk with Firefox OS uh, about Firefox OS to people, the big thing is like, yeah, this is nice, but it's not as fast as my iPhone or my Android. So what can we do to make people aware that this is not a competition? I think we need to focus on the unique advantages of the OS, you know, that, that differentiate from closed OSs. You've got uh, an OS here with HTML5 at its core. Everything is HTML5. Everything is written in, in, in web technologies, uh, including the dialer, the messaging application, uh, the home screen. Uh, it's a more open uh, ecosystem from the, uh, from the beginning. I think it also changes the economics of app development as well, because it's cheaper to get into the game as an app developer. You don't need as many tools. You don't need to join expensive development programs. You can start developing with what you have right now with you know, Firefox and uh, the, the development environment. It's a real strong play. And for me as a web developer, it's always incredibly frustrating to start building things on mobile devices because as soon as I started accessing some of the things that make a mobile device interesting to me, like uh, accelerometer, vibration, uh, the camera, mm -hmm. I was told, no, you can't do this in HTML technology. But now with Firefox OS, we don't have these limitations. And this is where we get into the web standards story as well, right? Because um, there are some of these things that are, that are available through the HTML5 set of standards. And, and of course, when we talk about HTML5, we're talking about HTML, but we're also talking about all these other things, including geolocation, which is, has been part of the web platform for a while now and is, is, I think, one of the success stories. There are other APIs that are baked into Firefox OS, such as Vibration, such as Calendar, that are not yet part of the web platform. And that's where we're working jointly on developing those within W3C to become part of the web platform so, so that we have one set of APIs for accessing those capabilities. Because that's one thing that always is a problem with standards. We define them and if there is no platform that supports them, developers can't try them out and can't give us feedback on where they get stuck. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we have a way of actually getting these proposals but also seeing them directly on a device, which makes it a much better story for developers to try them out. Because uh, developers who are not too keen on trying out new things because they think they would, they would lose clients that way have a chance to just put an if statement around it and test it on one device and don't have to worry about the other ones. A lot of these APIs, ideas have been floating around there for a while about how to uh, do vibration API or uh, camera API or that kind of thing. And they've, there have been various implementations floating around, but never in commercial, commercially released products. This is where we're, we're differentiating. We're putting these devices into market. We're getting them into people's hands as, as well as developers' hands, and that's going to change That's going to change the game a little bit, and I think it's going to accelerate getting these uh, capabilities baked into the web, becoming part of the web platform. So if you want to get started, there's a developer hub for you, which is a website that has all kind of features that you want to have. It has our design guidelines that gives you information what makes a good HTML5 app on a low-end device like that. There are some tools and simulators that allow you to simulate that kind of environment and get up and running. You can just go to add-ons Mozilla and get the Firefox simulator. And there's information how to get your app listed in the marketplace and how to distribute it on the web. Have a look at that and think about what Firefox OS can do for you. Get the simulator and start building some HTML5 applications that can do things you thought they would never be allowed to do.